Overall Season 1, Episode 13 is called Tracks. So look, the last episode, we got to see these two kids at the Academy who was making this, this weapon for Quinn. Quinn, oh my goodness, Quinn is just... Oh god, I can't wait to get uh, Quinn, man, out of here. Making this ice, like, this weapon that, you know, turns everything to, like, ice and everything. So they made, you know, they made the machine, and then they turned it on, and they just created, like, a hurricane type of thing. You know, and, you know, it just started, you know, shooting hail down, and I was like, okay, this is getting, you know, like, dangerous out there, because the hail is just, like, a damn golf ball, or even bigger than that, maybe a baseball. Obviously, um... The one kid that you know got manipulated into that he tried to turn it off but obviously the the lightning hit not obviously but the lightning hit um on the the machine and that was surprising and it killed uh that one kid that manipulated him to be in there and you know to you know i didn't really see i felt bad but at the same time i did it for him if you know what i'm saying i just like when he got killed i was like mm. Yeah, I feel bad, but I really don't because he, he knew what the hell he was getting himself into. It's like you don't really feel bad for him at all, honestly. But at the end of it, obviously they got, you know, once they, you know, they tried to uh, revive him, but they didn't, you know, they were, they were unable to do it. That kid now has powers. You know, he could turn things into ice if he probably touches it. I don't know if he's going to learn how to use it during his time at the sandbox because that's where they sent them. It, who knows, man. I think, obviously, I think obviously he's going to be back one day i think he might be a villain not a hero i think he's gonna be a villain and that's what i think is gonna go on with him guys i'm looking forward to checking out this next episode so further ado let's check this out this guy tracked down an invoice from one of his shell companies he made a big purchase recently 10 million dollars big any idea what it is no clue but it was designed and built by cybertech inc they've hired a private security outfit to transport the purchase why they're transporting it old school on a train through the italian countryside from verona to zagreb and they don't mind us taking over the op I asked very nicely. Me and my team to step aside to hand over our investigation to S.H.I.E.L.D. Try to think of it less as a handover and more as a handoff. Once we capture Quinn, we'll be one step closer to the clairvoyant. Here, let me get that. Oh, thanks, Dad. <laughs> far too young to have a daughter my age. <laughs> she messed up for that. He hasn't been the same since. Oh, no. I don't know what he said to Skye, but... She's different. We both know personal urges can adversely affect tactical decisions. That's why I don't have any. You should do the same. Really? <laughs> you think Colson will take that excuse if he finds out about us? Good okay when I told him. Wait. Uh <laughs> you told him? Yep. You are looking for something romantic. Yes. Please. Um... <laughs> we are celebrating our six month anniversary with a whirlwind trip all over Europe. Oh. <laughs> well, technically, we met six months ago, but he didn't ask me out till last month, so our official one month anniversary isn't until Sunday, next Saturday. Saturday. I think he found me intimidating. Young love, so confusing. Is it? All Mom ever wanted was your love to be with you on our two story Victorian home in the Cotswolds. But could you He's like, even okay. give her a moment? Your banking job requiring you to travel to the States from Tuesday to Saturday every other week? No! I'm terribly sorry about that. Oh, what, Stanley? As for you, now is your chance to do better. Oh, my Why God. That you take it. Let's go. Look at him pipping out. <laughs> I was not He's expecting right. that. You made time for your work and your prostitutes. Oh! Oh! Oh, God. Oh, oh no! Mom! Oh, my God! Prostitutes? Plural? May. I love this Following episode. This is so damn good. Already. Warning! We've been made. Stop! What? Damn it. Come on, man. Certo, signore. No, he she just likes the way he looks. <laughs> what? <laughs> so he hesitated to hit her in the face. Maybe it created some kind of portal. Jump the train there. Oh, let's hope not. I can't deal with Asgard today. <laughs> no, because it, it's just an illusion, I think. Like, who would leave their keys in the car? It's running. 
That's been hotwired. They knew we were on the train, too. Most of my team is unaccounted for. Most of my men are dead. Any idea what happened to the train? What do you mean? It vanished. With our team still on it. OK. We'll look into that. Agent Coulson, it's going to be all right. We found your people. Train, it's a... What the heck? We own something five. I'm so confused. Something's wrong. Cybertech's leaving the dining car. Ward, Halston. <laughs> That's what I thought. It's like they're frozen in time. Oh, she hotwired it. Okay. We've been looking for you, Agent May. Oh, you son of a bitch. Really? That's why he killed him. Your boss asked to be part of this op. <laughs> I warned him against it. Looking for someone to blame, look to him. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's when he came around. The people, the train, it's a May Russo was explain yourself, please. The train didn't disappear. Russo sold us out. The grenade must have released some kind of toxin, made us believe no time had passed. I saw you guys frozen on the field. You looked ridiculous. <laughs> it wasn't supposed to be a combat op. Where, where do they go? Oh, no. Simmons, stop! Where are Fitz and Sky? Now we're gonna find out what happened to them. We should more time to take in the scenery. Have you ever heard of an oid form being a person? No. Goggles are offline. When did that happen? May, do you copy? Oh, their stuff went offline, too. Oh, comms and phones are dead. Fitz, get down! No! Oh, God. Oh, my God. I think this is some form of dendrotoxin. The same stuff that's in the night night gun? Yeah. Leave the package, Fitz. What do we do? We're the only ones left. Do you have an extra tracker? Of course. Then we follow them. Okay, so they got out of there. Oh, this is really dangerous what she's doing, man. It's someone's house. Don't know who's gonna pop up. Oh, God. Hello. Wow. Clairvoyant told me to expect you. What the heck is that? Stand, please. Holy crap! Every piece of technology in you is top of the line. I do not know what they're doing to you, but we have to get out of here. Now. If I wanted you to... to hurt her... you know... kill her. Those aren't my orders. She's not who I'm supposed to kill. Wait. Wait. What the hell did you do to him? Son of a bitch, Quinn, man. We can just speak to Mr. Quinn. <gasps> the clairvoyant isn't happy. You led S.H.I.E.L.D. right to us. Oh. <laughs> it's 
like, what? You see his face? This guy. She, she, she didn't want to let Quid get away. Driver's not answering. Huh. Coulson's team finally got here. I'm not hey, look at that! Yes. <clears throat> oh my god. Mike! Well, yeah, he's controlled. Dangerous to keep sending her in like that when she means so much to you. <laughs> Search the house. Find her. Now. He bitch slapped the hell out of Quinn. No. Oh, no. Oh, God. Just hang on. Okay. She's lost too much blood. I don't... Put her in there. Oh. Is it working? For now. We need to get her to a medical facility and fast. Until then, I'll do everything I can to keep her alive. It's not your fault. You never should have gone in there alone. We all know that. Blaming yourself? I'm not blaming myself. Probably just wish she was there. I was not expecting her to get shot like that from Quinn. Okay, guys, as always, this is a really good episode. It's it just like, look, the leg that uh, Mike has, you know, came from the same place. But, you know, seeing the how they put it on him, it was just insane. But obviously, Mike was, you know, he's under control of the clairvoyant, which sucks. He wants to help. He wants to get out of there, but he can't because he could get killed. And he's trying to survive for his son. That's all he's trying to do at this point. I was not expecting Sky to get shot by Quinn like that. I was not expecting that. That was a shocker. It really was. I thought he was gonna hold her hostage or something like that, but he just shot her right away, like that that quick. I feel like Ward, it was his, and he didn't feel like it was his fault. I think he wished he was there to help her, basically. Well, they do got Quinn. They're gonna obviously, you know, interrogate him, but it's gonna be kind of tough, you know, to get him to crack or something like that. And then, you know, Mike's leg, you know, was just crazy too. You know, obviously he lost his leg or they cut it off or something like that. And they put that technology on him. This episode was really good. I just enjoyed this so much. I like the different perspectives with like the train and, you know, you know, going to the different, you know, where the team was in different places. That was just really cool. And then they seeing how they threw the technology where the train so-called disappeared, which it didn't, is just an illusion or something like that for, for like a couple minutes or something like that. Guys, please post your comments down below. Tell me what you guys think about this episode. I'm just looking forward to seeing if Sky will survive. I'm pretty sure she will survive. I, it, it just, I don't know. I just don't see her they're killing that character off that quick i'm pretty sure that's not gonna happen if you guys enjoy this reaction don't forget to thumbs up in the video if you're new around here don't forget to subscribe button and guys follow me on my twitter i'm trying to get to 100 followers i appreciate any followers that come around and guys don't forget to check out the patreon page if you have not guys stay focused stay motivated i'll see you next agents of shield